Hello everyone, it's Jenna here and I thought I would do a flip through of this journal which I've recently finished. It is the start of 2021 and I am just about to start a new journal. So this journal is my work from the second half of 2020. This is a nice thing to do for me because as a Christian, I use my journal as a way of hanging out with Jesus and praying and worshipping him. And so there are many very special God moments contained um, in this book. So the first page here, um, really simple page. This is something anyone could have a go at, just meditating on the fruits of the Spirit in Galatians. I have a video on my YouTube channel uh, showing you my thought process as I wrote out the words and actually it was a time for praying for my, mainly for my relationship with my children at the time which was um, a bit stressful to say the least. So if things are a bit strained for you right now, so this was a way of spending time with God and praying through that and I have to say it was uh, very transformative for me. It's a simple um, page um, to do creatively but that's not the point. Um, what is the point is what goes on in your heart which was massively powerful for me in doing this page. So find out more on the video uh, on my YouTube channel. I don't know if this page is finished, to be honest with you. I was captivated by this lady and the look on her face as she is sat there with her journal open and her cup of tea on her table and her face looking up, ready to listen. Love that sense of expectancy, joy, excitement and uh, willingness to listen that she represented. And so I've put the birds here who represent the Trinity for me, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, who are just who are swooping down just as eager to speak. Um, and so I've got these words, say it in the middle and a whole load of people who are too busy to listen, scurrying along. Um, down here. This is a page I did as part of a Zoom workshop, possibly the first Zoom workshop I did in 2020. And this was uh, exploring the parable that Jesus told about the house on the rock versus the house on the sand. And I've actually used some real sand there, which I glued on and so we thought about our sandy thinking what the the things that we put our trust in that were not God so for example I've written money in the bank or but it's not really our rock it's not really um where we should be putting our trust and then uh on, on these pieces over here we wrote things um, that were of God. So we've got Jesus obviously as the cornerstone, his love, his grace, having an eternal perspective rather than this worldly circumstantial um, perspective. Um, but that's a good one to meditate on in stormy times. This is another one I did as a workshop on Zoom and this was about identity, which when we're going through stormy times is really important to think about. So we literally on scraps of paper wrote all these statements, these I am statements about our identity in Christ. I've got things like I am full of hope, I am leaning on God. I have, I have a father who is bigger than any problem I face. I am grateful. I am free from condemnation. All these statements, we wrote them on little pieces of paper and collaged them down. And then we, we put our hearts, our, our broken hearts onto them um, and let God glue them back together with gold. So that was a lovely, lovely one. I might need to do that one again sometime. This is just a little jelly print I did. So this page is just an empty page, but uh, this is a lyric 
from the song Defender by Rita Springer. And the thought is that when we feel a bit lost and not quite ourselves, um, that God always finds us, doesn't he? This one was a massively powerful experience with God, really. Sometimes, sometimes I guess when I create a page, it's kind of quite a, a cerebral thing. It's a, a thought process that I go through um, and it's prayerful, um, but it's, it's really a lot of thinking and processing. And then other times it's, it's beyond that. It's a spiritual encounter with God. I mean, sometimes we get there in worship, don't we, in sung worship, in communal worship, maybe, maybe at a big conference or something where we're just overcome by the Holy Spirit and the presence of God, the power of God. And so I was um, creating this page, I was about halfway through and felt completely overcome by the Holy Spirit. And I, I literally couldn't paint anymore my I couldn't hold a paintbrush um, and I felt God speak these words or actually give me this song I was I actually ended up singing it um hallelujah I'm still standing it's for your glory it's by your grace and I was just weeping with gratitude really for God and everything that he's brought me through and uh, the testimony that I have of his goodness was just amazing at that time I can still feel bits of that and I don't know if you can see those little splatters of gold on here as well so I don't really care what the page looks like I just know that this is an amazing time with God so I love to look at it because it takes me back to that moment this is a page I did as part of a um, workshop with a artist called Lally Mill who I absolutely love her um, look her up if you don't know how I love the way she uses white paint and contrast um, just really really beautiful work oh this was a page that went wrong and I abandoned actually um, I was contemplating the idea of comfort in the lead up to Christmas and the carol um, comfort and joy uh, God, God rest ye merry gentlemen isn't it and thinking about the God of comfort that's something that God had put on my heart to explore so this was one page I started doing to think about that but I actually ended up, ended up doing a completely different page and I've got a video about that on my YouTube channel as well ah I was thinking about Eden, I think, and the Garden of Eden and the purity of God's original intention for creation. But then I ended up, so I started thinking about the beginning of the Bible. I ended up thinking about the end of the Bible where the tree of life appears again in Revelation in this verse where it says and the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations so this ended up being a prayer for um for the healing of the nations for for um healing from covid and restoration for our world um from this crazy pandemic um and i stamped a cross underneath This was another um, just watercolour play that was part of a workshop I did. This page, I've got a video for this one um, on my YouTube channel, was an experiment thinking about paint as dance. So rather than thinking of paint as a way of creating a picture, thinking instead about the movement of your paintbrush or your um, mark making tools or pens or whatever across the page as a kind of uh, expressive dance. There's lots about dance in the Bible, isn't there? Um, David danced before the Lord with all his might. So this was my attempt at my paintbrush dancing before the Lord with all its might in time to the music. So that was very fun, really fun thing to try and do. 
um, and I did it to the track My Lighthouse by Rend Collective. So check out that video. This I did for a workshop um, as part of a Bible journaling festival online again and this was supposed to be an all age thing. I did this with children as well as adults and um, the workshop was entitled Jesus Wants to Give You a Hug and I um, used as inspiration the Bible verse where uh, Jesus says often I have longed to gather you under my wing as a hen, mother hen, gathers a chick um, under her wing. So we um, placed ourselves in Jesus's care and we also placed, uh, we made little chicks to represent people we loved as well, who we might be worried about or we haven't been able to hug and see as we would have liked. So we did that. It was really super cute. And my I think I've got a video for that on YouTube as well with my daughter Sophia helped teach that one who's aged eight. Um, she was brilliant so maybe you could do that one with your kids it's a great one. This is a page that I literally completed a couple of days ago struggling a bit uh, with my mood and just felt under attack really spiritually so I did this to really place my mind under the protection of the Holy Spirit and declare that the peace of God will guard my mind during this time. Great verse there from Philippians. This was a little workshop thingy that I took part in where we took Things from nature. I don't know if you can even see the writing there, but it says feather, berry, sycamore seed, red leaf, acorn, yellow leaf. And we tried to um, copy the colours that we saw, pay attention to the colours that we found in the uh, in natural items. So that's a lovely thing to do. I've been much more attentive to colour this year, I've realised looking at this and, and specific shades of colour. Okay, so the next two pages are kind of mood boards uh, with collage elements. Again, really paying attention to colours and, and atmospheres created by different scenes and patterns and other collage elements. So that one's quite moody. This one's more chilled and calm. So I'm actually going to do this in a separate book this year that I've got sorted out. It's a lovely practice. This one, if I turn it sideways, I'm not sure you're going to see it. Shall I do that? This one is uh, a piece I did Christmas related, thinking about the incarnation. So this was all about pondering how uh, God became flesh, um, became a human form and thinking about the craziness of that. Um, that God left heaven and came to earth. There's a, a video with all my thoughts about that, so I won't go into too much detail, but um, lots of thoughts on that topic on my in my YouTube video following this one. And coming into land now, this was my review page for 2020, which I stuck down some images from magazines that reminded me of 2020. So my word for 2020 was abundance. I don't know if you do a word for the year, but this that was my word for 2020. And God really blessed that and um, uh, was true to that word, even in difficult circumstances. And it really helped me have a good attitude throughout 2020 to look for abundance because when I stuck down the pictures I could see uh, Psalm 23 here the Lord is my shepherd so I wrote out the words to that on this page. This is a page I did relatively recently just wanted to capture that feeling sometimes when I'm worshipping I might be uh, worshipping on a Sunday um, or spending time with God by myself. It's a feeling I get um, when I'm doing my art journaling, which is a form of worship. And it's also a feeling I get um, when I'm out in nature sometimes. And it's, it is a, a feeling of worship, really, a feeling of 
freedom, joy, just real joy and excitement and my like your my spirit is soaring. I just wanted to do a page that captured that amazing feeling of being in the presence of God and feeling like I'm fully alive. Okay, last page. This is my page with my word for the year for 2021. Um, so I should probably have done it at the start of my next journal, but uh, the word God gave me for 2021 was flow. And um, I want to flow with the Holy Spirit. Um, on this page, you can't see it, but underneath is written the verse from John about streams of living water coming out of your innermost being. That's something I want to experience is that ease, peace, motion, but with ease. Um, and uh, that's symbolised here by these two surfers, like surfing with God, catching the wave of what he's doing and um, and going with that, going with the flow. So lots of cool stuff on here, some stitching. Um, I did this big collage panel with stitching and then stuck it on. There's some lichen here that I pressed and stuck on. And this little silver anchor, um, which represents um, not getting carried away, I suppose, in the flow, but remaining anchored in Christ. So that's it. That's my, there's a few little scribbles on the back there, but that's basically my journal. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, to find out how I create these pages and you can check out more videos there about the pages that I've mentioned. Bye for now.